Corvo, what are you doing here? I thought I'd never see you again. <coughs> the Torchbearer led you back to me at a most convenient time. I have a very important message for you to deliver. There you go now. To rhyme. for a corrupted creature, and my instinct got the best of me. After all, who could roam these ruins, if not one that carries their taint? You must have a good reason to be here, alive. Cordelia? Cordelia the Reaper? I'm... Sorry, my lady, but the chimeras that came before you, they're no more. I'm afraid you're too late. Or maybe I was right on time. What lies did you write in that letter? Where are they? Don't be so reckless, my sweet reaper. Once the Torchbearer takes them, the dead can only tell us so much. I will have a friendly conversation with our devoted observer. Well, you give chase to Briar and Loot. They won't stand a chance, Your Grace. <clears throat> Approach them with that attitude, and you'll face the judge in no time. It's not time yet. Follow them. Learn what they're capable of. Then report back to me. As your grace commands. So, Leighton, I assume your letter was addressed to me. Speak then. What did you wish to tell the Grand Master of the Ashen Blade? You know that you were meant to die here with all the others. Did you expect that I would fall for any of your pretentious tales? Let us speak the truth for once, then. They stopped you, Dougal. Admit it. The outcasts did what no one believed possible, including me. Those peasants did exceed my expectations, yes. But all they have accomplished is just a small setback. A detour from a path that cannot be abandoned. But why? What did you hope to accomplish here? You would not understand, or anyone else in your sanctimonious triarchy. But you do not need to. It suffices that you recite your beloved canticle. The three cities still stand to this day for the glory of the Keepers. Are those tears of Adoran and Rhyme? Dougal, you madman! What have you done? The solstice of souls is upon us. 